seeing what AFK Ninja can possibly do in this situation if he can resist uh, this overwhelming force of <laughs> recoup losses, Volks, Grenadiers, and Grenadiers. Uh, so, looks like Calliope's pulling up here. Riflemen are just taking a beating, but they're really, really paying for themselves here. Uh, Vet 2 Riflemen, 23 kills, Browning Automatic Rifles, very effective. Uh, we do see lots of medic uh, stuff still happening here. Both of these bunkers uh, have been getting heavy use. Uh, looks like, though, he will not tolerate any medics as long as there are not any enemies uh, for him to fire at. Uh, so he's dealing with that. And by the way, it is worth noting here that we have a third medic bunker up here on the right-hand flank. That might be even a little excessive, uh, but now we see Calliope just kind of firing in this general area here. Not looking too bad, actually. Um, looks like he gets a single kill. Whoa, sends giblets everywhere. A single kill on this one tank gun and just kind of, you know putting some pressure in this area. When you know an area is really well defended with concrete bunkers and things like that, it's, you know, it's kind of not a bad idea just to kind of, you know, start hitting it early and often. Um, you know, call IP is not the most effective thing against buildings in one shot, but over the period of many minutes, uh, if you fire it dozens of times, it definitely will level a base and will level bunkers and all that sort of stuff. So nothing wrong with just kind of laying this, you know, laying this part of the map, burying it underground and just seeing what happens. Uh, so Wilson's Rifleman up here, still dealing with all this jack, uh, trying to trying to ca trying to cat cap that, and it looks like he is getting hit by a mortar team. Yes, we have a far-off mortar team here. That is a brand new mortar team. Uh, the rest of the Rifleman now pushing outwards. Uh, vet 2, Vet 2, 16 kills, 26 kills for these guys. I'm trying to keep an eye on everything here. Uh, you can see that entrenched positions is now activated in this region. Uh, these guys are doing their best here, uh, fighting away, and it looks like they have driven off the Allies for the time being. Uh, meanwhile, this Calliope is trying to look a little bit exposed, and I think it is very important uh, as a Axis player to identify when Calliopes are going to start becoming a problem for you. And here comes firing it again, because you can always get sight of it once it starts damaging you. And now he's just firing straight at where he believes this uh, mortar team to be. Oh, and kills two guys right away with that mortar team. The whole mortar team falls apart and uh, even a little bit of incidental damage to this front bunker here. But I think it's very important to identify the location of the Calliope and kill it. Like, really, really kill it. Put all of your effort into killing that Calliope. Because uh, an unchecked Calliope just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. Uh, it's, you know, basically an endless supply of AoE damage on some parts of the battlefield. So, reactive artillery now, trying to prevent the Allies from capping any of this stuff. Uh, we'll see Wilson's Rifleman is going to have to get the heck on out of there. Bunch more grenadiers and folks grenadiers moving in, and for the most part, the battle is kind of evenly split. Um, definitely, just the introduction of the Calliope was enough uh, for AFK Ninja to kind of, you know, drive back the front line to more towards the middle and less towards his side of the map, as you can see from the tactical map. Uh, we do have a little bit of fighting going on over here, and we have a second Calliope shot going off. Where is that going? That is going way over here on the right-hand side, and that's pretty effective. He actually hit a big blob of infantry with that, as well as doing a little bit of incidental damage to his house. Tons of kills there, and I believe he also probably had armor, well, he had armor bounty active earlier, but not for that shot. Uh, meanwhile, just trying to cap stuff out here, uh, forcing away the, the Volksgrenadiers who were trying to cap his own spot. Uh, we'll see him uh, even having the presence of mind to shoot <laughs> medics who are out of sight right around the corner of buildings and things like that. Uh, but really doing a good job just kind of pressing back against the German player uh, using Calliope's nonstop. And, uh, you know, this is the best part. This is the time uh, for him to shine at this point in the game. And, uh, you know, he's going to have to keep spending money reinforcing his troops. You can see a second Calliope coming now. He's identified this as a hornet's nest. He knows he needs to kill it. And now all of this huge grouping of troops is starting to get severely punished. Uh, this building taking some damage. The aid station taking some damage. Just, you know, general kills everywhere. Uh, not necessarily killing too many units, too many entire squads, but just inflicting a lot of casualties. Suicide squad here, pressing towards the center. Wilson's Rifleman stepping up to the task, uh, hoping that they can just kind of outlast the kind of fire that they're under right now. You can see that we've got some guy, you know, the contracted reinforcements are hanging out here. Contracted pioneers, rather, hanging out in there. Wilson's Rifleman able to decap the point, but due to grenade fire and incidental fire and all this other stuff, it looks like uh, they're going to have to retreat. They're definitely down to three men, taking some more casualties. No, Bazooka Joe, run! And uh, the anti-tank gun doing its thing. And the Calliope is coming from every direction. Uh, notice the effectiveness of repositioning Calliope's across the battlefield. I love seeing that. He came over here and he's kind of, you know, uh, doing this as a two-for-one. Uh, he's covering the left side of the battlefield, but also just doing some damage over here. Uh, now, definitely there are Panzer Shreks and all sorts of other junk around here that he wants to look out for. So I think he may overextend that if unless he backs up with Riflemen. 
Uh, but do note, I've, I've criticized people on this before. Oh no, hitting hitting some damage there, but uh, able to get the anti-tank gun out of the way. Do note that he is keeping his Sherman Calliopes separated, and he's firing them uh, intermittently between one another. Uh, this is way more effective, I think, than moving them both around in a blob and firing them both at the same time and everything. As a result, he kind of constantly has Calliope shots. Uh, his enemy never really knows when the next Calliope is coming. You know, there's no... You know, if you see two Calliopes fire at you at the same time, you know you've got quite a while before the next one's going to come. But as a result now, uh, even though he just saw a Calliope shot, he's probably just seconds away from this Calliope also firing. Uh, so just constant Calliope barrage. A little bit of uh, reactive artillery there just to kind of drive back the infantry. Uh, just kind of plopping around here. Big balls of... Uh, big, big balls of uh, Volksgrenadiers and Grenadiers. Uh, finally moving up. Trying to put some pressure on this tank, but you can see he is definitely keeping... Oh, look at that. Close range Calliope shot. Everybody's retreating to get away from it. Is he going to get some kills? Oh, no. Uh, he's just going to execute some trees instead. So clearing all of the trees out of the area here just to make this a little bit cleaner uh, for fighting and that sort of thing. So, but for the time being now, I mean, this is no man's land. This is, uh, but, uh, you know, definitely like certain death for people who come out here and try and cap this sort of thing. Uh, but for the time being, um, it looks like you know your defend is holding on uh, for dear life. Let's take a look at his point of view for just a moment. You know defend. Um, <coughs> We'll see that his army is still huge. Two Volkswagen air squads, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Grenadier squads. So just massive amounts of troops. They're all uh, Vet 2. And uh, another another Calliope shot coming in here towards the center. Just kind of a nice little spread here. Uh, he is no doubt anticipating the, uh, the surge of troops. I'm sure he just was kind of hoping there was a big ball of troops there, but... You know, he's kind of doing what I like to call just kind of lazy armor scouting, which is like, yeah, you don't have, like, a scout plane or anything like that, but just, you know, just kind of fire at a point in the map and see if you hit anything. That's a good way to get an idea of where the troops are. So, huge blob now moving up, but of course, uh, because the Calliope shots have been staggered, um, he really has no guarantee that he's not going to get instantly calliope here as soon as he reveals himself, uh, because uh, th these rifleman squads have got a good idea exactly where they are. Uh, so we'll see. Where's our second Calliope? Here it is, moving a little bit more towards the center now. Uh, thankfully, these guys are staying moving. <coughs> Looks like some pretty good fighting going on up here. Uh, you'll see these uh, 22, 22 kill Vet 2, uh, 22 kill Vet 2 as well. Just kind of fighting away here, getting a good amount of kills, but also uh, Recoup Losses was activated as well as for the Fatherland. So pretty, pretty well defended troops up there. A lot of just constant action, though. Really appreciate this constant action. Oh my god, and the Calliope's! Oh no, and all the troops! Run, run, run! So, that's what you want to look out for, and uh, we'll see what he's going to be doing with his first Calliope here. But both Calliope's staying nicely in the back, just kind of doing their thing and putting pressure everywhere. Just barely able to hold on to the center. Uh, here comes the next Calliope shot. Now that one was a little bit closer to the first one, but uh, <laughs> he had good reason to. Uh, whenever you see a huge ball of uh, units retreat from you, just fire right at the front of their base and hope to do some damage there. And you'll see uh, that this is doing some pretty serious damage. Uh, you know, if he continues doing that, you know, three or four Calliope shots from now, there will be no buildings in this base. Uh, so definitely a serious kind of ticking time bomb kind of effect here for you know defend. He's going to have to address these Calliopes. And so far he just hasn't been able to get up there and actually attack the Calliopes. You know, he's doing a great job just kind of, you know, fighting around with the infantry and, and the riflemen and that sort of thing, but he has not yet once really even damaged uh, the Calliope's. I think one of them one time took a Panzerfaust when it was way up here uh, close to this building, and that was about it. So, at this point, I think I think he needs to change his strategy. Uh, he's got huge army. I mean, just absolutely huge army. Panzer Shreks everywhere. Uh, really good, beefy-looking troops all over the place. But they're not enough, you know, just a little bit of padding of uh, vetted riflemen combined with Calliope's. Oh, Calliope just killing everything. Just taking out the bunker, uh, continuing to poke holes in the roof of this house, killing people inside the house. Um, this this constant barrage uh, effect from the Calliope's is too much for infantry to handle. I really think what he needs to do right now is swap over to a... Oh, and here comes the next Calliope again, uh, chasing the retreating troops. Uh, just getting casualties, and he is activating his recoup losses. Look at the damage this is doing. Oh my god, it's so harsh. I think what he really needs to do is build a sneaky little uh, panzer command over here on the right or left side of his base and uh, start getting panthers. Just start saving for panthers. Something that is big and beefy, doesn't take a lot of damage from a calliope, 
and uh, can get in there. Because right now, that's pretty much the one thing uh, that AFK Ninja is vulnerable to. Yes, he's got sticky bombs, and he's got a bunch of troops, and he's got two Shermans who could be upgraded for armor-piercing rounds. Uh, he's got a single anti-tank gun and that sort of thing, but he needs heavy armor to support him at this point in time. Wow! Wilson's Rifleman taking some serious damage here. <laughs> oh no! Poor Wilson's Rifleman. I don't, I don't see a Bazooka Joe. There he goes! Another man wielding Bazooka. Uh, picks it up and takes on the charge. Uh, looking really exposed here. This Calliope is very, very close to these troops. This is probably the first time I've really seen a bunch of Grenadiers uh, get lined up with Panzer Shrek shots. Bam! First one in the armor. Uh, second shot. Oh, goes into the dirt, taking a lot of damage. But the second Calliope is attacking this area as well. Oh my god, look at that. Just look at the experience all over the place. Calliope shots everywhere. Uh, decimating the center of that. Now uh, the Sherman, backed by a couple of Flame Engineers, are going to sit here and hold their own against this sort of thing. Uh, looks like they might get some shots off of that tank, but there's just... By the time the troops get this close to the tank, it's, it feels like they've taken too many losses. And oh man, by the way, we did finally lose a Calliope. Uh, looks like these Grandiers were able to get the kill. Who got the kill? Which one? This guy? Yes, this guy got the kill here. This very wounded Vet 3, uh, Vet 3 Grenadier. Oh, it kills a second Calliope! Yes! You know the fan! Uh, getting the Calliope kills. That's exactly what he needs to take control of the battle from this point on. Uh, killing both Calliopes. However, of course, there's an unlimited supply of Calliopes. Um, but usually, with the, with the style that AFK Ninja is playing, with this heavy infantry plus Calliope style of play, um, he pretty much is going to be spending all of his money on uh, resupplying his troops. So he's probably not floating lots of money. Uh, as you can see, he's got about 350 now, having just lost all those guys. Killing it. This is a great attack, by the way. Just realizing that uh, you know that attack kind of petered out against him, AFK Ninja is now counterattacking and putting pressure directly on this base. And look at this. Look at this. Oh, I love it. I love it. Using uh, using detonate <laughs> ah, using uh, debt charges here. Gonna go ahead and set a charge up on that bunker. And oh, I love this. Kind of laying in wait. You always kind of have to wonder if the enemy saw you set it up. And now you can see he's kind of retreating to the right here. He's trying to bait these units across this bunker here. It's a big explosion when you finally detonate that. Oh, look at me just click on this button here. I'm just like, oh, go go, blow it up, blow it up. Troops everywhere, blow it up. No, but 